What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a leg and glutes workout. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells, and the weight that you choose will be completely dependent on your fitness level. You will also have the opportunity to use a kettlebell during one of the movements today, but that is not required. Follow me for the standard moves. And follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to burn those legs out, then let's do it. Let's start by warming up our posterior chain. We're gonna get our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, point those toes out just a little bit. Now let's get a small, slight bend in your knees. Hands together, drive those hips back, and then drive those hips forward. Swing those arms up, and then down through your legs. This one is really all about your hips. Your arms are just along for the ride. And notice how we're starting with a slight bend in our knees, and then we're keeping that bend throughout the move driving those hips back, hips back, hips forward, squeeze those glutes at the top. Now we're not gonna count any repetitions in our warm up today, so we're just moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. And the point of this warm up is to get your heart rate up a little bit and increase your overall body temperature, loosen up these legs. Make sure to breathe, keep your back straight on this one. And again, we're just moving at a warm up pace, getting those hamstrings, glutes, Lower back all loosened up, ready for this workout. Let's do this one for the last 10 seconds here. Breathing in, breathing out for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, for the next one, we're gonna give a little different variation between the two. I'm gonna do an overhead squat plus calf raise. And I'm actually gonna do a prisoner squat plus calf raise. So prisoner squat is just interlacing my fingers right behind my head here. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's put our weight back on our hips first and then squat down. Notice how I'm keeping my arms up and in line with my body. This one requires definitely some more mobility to achieve it correctly and properly. You decide which variation is right for you. Again, we're just moving at a warm up pace here, loosening those legs up. Every time we squat, we break at the hips first, hips go back and then bend at the knees, keeping the feet flat, head in line with our spine for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, let's get those heart rate up a little bit on this next one. I'm gonna do a faux jump rope stand light and on the balls of my feet. And I'm actually just gonna do a run in place. So she's doing right, left, and I'm doing both right and left at the same time. Either way, nice, soft, and light touches on the ground. You decide which of these variations is right for you. Again, going at a warm up pace. We're not trying to get too intense yep. right now and save some of that for the workout. Oh yeah, there'll be plenty of time for that work coming up. And nice, big, deep breaths. And use this warm up as an opportunity to remind yourself what brought you here today to begin with. Whatever it is that motivates you, it's gonna be the key to get you through to the end of this workout when those legs are catching on fire That's and they're right. burning. <laughs> All right, let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ha. I'm warm. I'm ready to I go. Feel, I feel ready to go. It's hot in here today. I'm already <laughs> sweating. These lights shine down on me. Okay. <laughs> we got a super set coming up at you. We're going to go back and forth between a deep reverse lunge and then either a kettlebell swing or a dumbbell swing. We're going to do three sets of each. We're going to need dumbbells for that first deep reverse lunge. Two, two dumbbells. dumbbells. Yep. And we're going to do three sets of 16 repetitions. So eight on each leg. Start with your feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna take a big deep step back and then drop that back knee. Come on back up. And that counts as one. That counts as one. Again, good posture. Shoulders are back. Making sure to breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Now the point of the big deep uh, step and stretch is this one really engages your hamstrings and glutes more than a traditional reverse lunge. 
Again, taking a big old step back, but maintaining a flat and straight back. That's halfway point. Good, not a race on this one. Staying nice and under control. You got it, keeping balance. And if you wanna make this one easier, you can drop the weight altogether or just lighten it. Or if you need to make it harder, you can increase your weight. Maintaining good posture. And last one right here, guys. Excellent. Nice work. All right, let's go ahead and set those dumbbells to the side. I'm gonna use one kettlebell for this next one. And I'm gonna use one dumbbell. You decide what's appropriate for you. We're gonna move into either a kettlebell or dumbbell posterior swing. Very similar movement to the one that we started with. Driving those hips back and then forward. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. Toes are pointed out. I'm grabbing my kettlebell with two hands. And I'm grabbing mine with two hands and just interlocking my fingers. And our first move is gonna be to drive those hips backwards as we hike that weight between our legs. Now, hips forward, squeeze those glutes up at the top. All right, let's go ahead and get started. 12 repetitions and three, two, one, let's hit it. Weight back and then weight forward. And this one is really all about those legs, not about your upper body. Hips should be used as a hinge. Halfway point. Backwards and forwards. Keep a slight bend in your knees throughout. Squeeze those glutes up at the top. Two more. Almost there, come on. Last one. Ah, excellent. Nice work. Okay, so that's one set of each. You can set that weight down and moving on to that deep uh, dumbbell reverse lunge. Grabbing both your weights, we got 16, eight on each leg, going back and forth here. All right, beginning in three, two, one. Let's go, big, deep step back. Good posture, that's it. Control the way down and the way up. Not a race on this one. It would definitely be easier if you were to turn it into a faster movement, but we wanna get that time under tension, which is so important in these strength and muscle building workouts. Make sure those muscles are working. We're not just using momentum. Halfway point right here. This one's working your hamstrings, glutes, quads, even your grip and just holding the dumbbells. Good, big deep step back. Every time, there we go. Feel that stretch as you step back, really hitting those hamstrings and glutes. Excellent, almost done. Big deep breaths. You have two more. Breathing in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Last one. You got it. And zero. Whew. Okay, set those down. Time for some posterior swings. Adjust your weight if you need to, but we have another 12 repetitions coming at you. Again, starting those feet a little wider and shoulder width apart. Good posture. Two hands on that weight. Hips back, hips forward. Here we go. In three, two, one. Begin. Really feel that stretch in your backside on every rep. It's like you're trying to touch your glutes to the wall behind you. Keep your back straight, head in line with your spine. Squeeze those glutes. Two more. Good. Last one. Ah, whoo, those burn so wow. good. Okay. You sure do. Two down, one to go. Let's get it going right here. Deep reverse lunge. Keep that energy up. Stay focused, has been tried. Let's do it. And three, two, one, begin. Stepping back, big step. And back up. Excellent, last 16 of these. Eight on each leg. Every repetition's just getting you that much closer to your goal. Again, think about what it is that brought you here today. Trying to build strength, build muscle, lose weight, or just get better at life. Kicking butt in your Halfway. daily activities. Whatever it is, stay focused on it. Right here, we're fighting with you, fighting together. Come on. Almost there, stay under control. Big deep steps every time. Three more. Come on, last three right here. Fighting through that burn. Fight through it. Right here, come on. Last one. And zero. Excellent. Ooh. All right, let's set those dumbbells down. 
whether you're using a kettlebell or a dumbbell, the last set of the posterior swings right here for 12 repetitions. Feet a little wider than shoulder width, all posterior chain. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's get it. Hips back, hips forward. Squeeze those glutes every time. And again, it's all about your legs. Your arms are just along for the ride. Boom, every time. And yeah, don't turn it into a squat, but make sure you're hinging Two at more. those hips. Boom, last one. Squeeze. Excellent job. Nice work. All right, next up we have a tri set. So that's three exercises in the next circuit. First one we're gonna do is gonna be a goblet lateral drop squat or just a lateral drop squat. Correct. You decide. So I, I'm not gonna be using any weight for this one. But I'm still on one of Claudia's dumbbell. So I'm holding this dumbbell up top in a goblet position. Start with our feet together. Now we're gonna jump out, pointing our toes out, drop our weight back in our hips, and pop back up. You decide if holding the dumbbell or not is appropriate for you, but we have 12 repetitions coming at you here. And three, two, one. Dropping out, feet are a little wider and shoulder width apart. Toes are pointed out. Absorb that weight and energy in your hips, hamstrings, and your glutes, and then pop back up. Keep your back straight. Halfway. Core tight, and make sure to breathe. On this one, we're breathing in on the way down, exhaling as you explode up. Two more, guys. Almost there, almost there. Last one. Make a count. Boom. All right, we need just one dumbbell for the next one. We're going to move into a kickstand deadlift. So I'm going to go a little heavier on this one. We have eight repetitions on each side. So let's go ahead and start with that dumbbell in your left hand. Kick your right arm out to the side. We're going to step back with your left foot about one foot length back. Our goal on this one is gonna to be to be, get about 85% of your weight on this lead leg. Kick those hips back as you bend at the knee, keeping your back straight, and come up. One leg deadlift. So equal parts bend at the knee and hinging at the hips. Here we are, eight each leg. In three, two, one, begin. Head stays in line with your spine. And again, that back leg it's really just to help you stabilize, but you should be lifting the majority of the weight with that lead leg. Again, bending the hips and bending the knee at the same time. Three more. Good posture. One right into the next, right here. And we'll switch it up after this last rep. Good, okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Opposite side now. Really isolating one leg at a time that one foot back, about one foot length back, and begin. Again, bending at both the knee and hinging at the hips at the same time is the harder one to stay balanced on. So just really focus on both ends of the movement, both the lowering phase and that lifting phase. Here we go, last two. And here it is, finish strong. Good, okay, we're gonna need two dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna do a iso squat plus side tap. So let's bring those dumbbells up into rack position. And then I'm gonna do a complete iso squat where I bring my hips down to parallel to the ground. And I am at a quarter squat. Now we're stepping side to side while maintaining this position for 30 seconds. <laughs> yes, that's as brutal as it sounds. It's gonna be brutal. <laughs> Here we go. Dumbbells are up, getting into position, and begin. Side to side taps, keeping that weight in your hips. You decide how far you wanna sit down, what's appropriate for you and your fitness level. And how many can you get in That's this 30 it. second time That's frame? That's it, what do you got? Making sure to breathe and keep moving. You only have 10 more seconds. Whew. See Burn how fast so that good. goes by? Burn so good. Fight through everybody, fighting through it. Three, two, one, and break. Ha! Okay, Ooh. take a big deep breath. And we're- Shake going, it out. We're going to the, <laughs> we're moving back to the start of this tricep. Yes. So we have those lateral drop squats. I'm holding my dumbbell. And I'm going weightless. All right. Remember, I'm grabbing up here on the top of the dumbbell. 
Feet stay together to start. Dropping the toes out, dropping the hips back. And three, two, one, begin. 12 repetitions. All that weight back in your hips on every rep. Then explosively pop up. Good. Again, breathing in on the way down and out on the way up. Almost there, fighting through that burn. Three more. Come on, let's go, let's go. Last one right here. Make it count. Excellent. Nice work. Okay, moving into that one leg uh, kickstand deadlift. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. You got it. I got it. Feet are shoulder width apart. Dumbo on that left leg. Kick that left leg back. And now using that lead leg, break at the hips and bend the knee. Let's begin. Eight repetitions. Keep that head in line with your spine. And really emphasize making that lead leg do the majority of the work. Going to bend at both the hip and the knee. Good. Shoulders stay square. Two more, guys. Almost there. Last one right here. Good. Woo. Switch it up. Come on. Let's go, Has to Drive. I'm a sweaty mess today. Whew. I like it. I know it's working. Here we are. And begin. Eight on this leg right here. Come on. Staying tough. Remembering what brought you here today. What is it? Stay focused on it. Halfway point. A little bit stronger. Every repetition. Pushing yourself because nobody else would do it for you. Come on. Last one, guys. Make it count. Zero. Oh. Whew. I okay. felt it. Now, remember, we need both dumbbells for this next one. Yep. The ISO squat plus side taps. Man, that one came around quick. It does. This one's brutal. Pop them up. Let's go 30 seconds. Get into position and begin. And if you start with one move and you need to move on to the next, feel free to do so. You need to come up a little bit. But just keep pushing it. Come on. Don't quit when you get tired. Don't quit when you feel like it. But stop when it's done. Finishing right to the end. 10 seconds, guys. Come on. Fight through it. Fight through that burn. You're stronger than Five that Five seconds. Burn. Let's go, let's go. Two, one, break. Hoo wee felt every one of those. Okay, two down, <laughs> one to go in this tri set. Brutal. We're burning right there with you, Tribe. We're with you. You're not alone. No. I got one dumbbell for this drop squat. 12 repetitions. And begin in three, two, one, Zero. Really emphasize dropping it back in your hips on every repetition. This one's nailing your hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, and calves. Halfway point, guys. All getting hit. Maybe a little, a little extra credit working your shoulders if you're holding that dumbbell. Come on, fight through everybody. Last Two set more. of these. Last one right here. Ah, Ooh. zero. All right, no more of those. Man. Here. Check them off your list. Moving into that Check kickstand deadlift. Just one dumbbell needed. Holding that dumbbell in your left hand for this one. Feet are shoulder width apart, one arm out, one leg back. Let's get into it, we got eight reps. Begin. Again, bending at both that knee and hinging at the hip at the same time. Good. Get that head in line with your spine. Control the way down. And the way up. Good. Two more. Almost there. Finish strong on this one, everybody. Zero. All right. Ouch. Last eight. Switching okay. legs. Let's get this one done. Here we are. Three, two, one. Begin. Finishing strong. Gets to this point of the workout. Your legs are aching. Everything's burning. You're hurting. It's time for you to remember what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What's your goal? What are you working towards? Three more. And what's it going to take for you to achieve it? Keep it at the front of your mind right here. Last one, guys. Think about it. Zero. Ooh, nice job. Excellent. Shake them loose. Okay, let's grab that 
Second dumbbell for the next one. The ISO squat plus side tap. Last one. It's going to burn <laughs> so good. Pop those dumbbells up. Get into position. And let's go. 30 seconds. What do you got right here? It's all mental at this point. Not even physical anymore. Come on. You versus you. All in your head on this one. Got to prove it to yourself. Exceed your own expectations. Come on. 10 seconds, guys. That's it. So close. Fight with us. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Let's go. So close, so close. Three, two, one, break. Ah, nice. Nice Set those work. weights down. Everybody. You made it. I'm gonna skip the high what? five there. Am I a little too sweaty? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you nice. just jumped out of a pole. I know, it's ridiculous. These right. lights. <laughs> anyway, okay, we're moving to, into a cool down so we can actually move to the floor. Take a nice big deep breath here. Whew. As we do so, do it slowly. Workout's over with, so let's let that heart rate start to come down. Yes. We're gonna get a little mobility and stretching in here. Legs are out in front of you. Back is nice and straight. Now we're gonna do a seated hamstring stretch. And the goal on this one is to only bend at the hips like a hinge. It's really gonna isolate those hamstrings. Put your hands on your hips. Good posture. Now, keeping your head in line with your spine. Hinge forward. You're not going to be able to get as far doing this as you normally would, and that's okay. But we really want to feel those hamstrings engage. Keep your legs straight. Don't bend here at the knees. Keep that head in line with your spine. And hold. Just a static stretch on this one. Those hamstrings took a beating today. They could use a little recovery here. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Relax. Good, okay, this next time, we're gonna perform a similar stretch, but with a little more of a lower back emphasis. So it's still gonna hit the hamstrings and glutes, but more lower back. So this time I want you to go ahead and reach and allow your body to bend and curl forward. Don't pull back on your toes if you can, but just keep your toes in a nice neutral position. And we're gonna reach as far as you can. Whatever that looks like, if that's here, that's okay. If it's way further than us, that's cool too. Make this work for you. Nice, big, relaxing, deep breaths. Slow and controlled. Take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. Being fit were easy, everybody be fit, but they're not. That's what makes you so special for showing up today and putting in the work. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come on up, nice and slow. All right, staying in this spot, but we're gonna Emphasize the calves this next time. So similar move to the last one, but only this time, go ahead and pull those toes back and keep them pulled back. Whether you can reach and pull them back more, that's great. If not, just pull them back towards you and reach toward them. Again, you can go ahead and allow your back to, to curl on this one. Pull those toes back as far as you can, keeping your knees down. Hold and stretch. If you can reach to pull back on your toes, you can go ahead and do so, but it's not required. Like I said, if you're here, that's okay. Just breathe. You got it. A few more deep breaths. Feel those calves loosening up. Again, they took a beating today as well from the calf raises to the jumps. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come on up. All right, we got one more stretch here. We're gonna move into a sprinter quad stretch. Work on those thighs and quadriceps. Let's go and bring one leg back. So this one, there's a bunch of different variations. The easiest is gonna be about in here. When, you know, sitting back and leaning back just a little bit. But the more you pull that leg underneath you, the further you lie back, the harder the move is gonna get. So you decide for your flexibility and where you're at right now, if you wanna be more in this range or if you wanna come and lie down. I'm probably about right here today after that workout. And Agreed. It feels good for me. Yep. But all these static stretches, we're trying to take it to about 85, 90% of what we're capable of. We want to feel a good stretch, but we don't want to necessarily be inducing any pain either. Again, nice, big, slow, deep breaths on this one. Ooh, I'm going to feel this one tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you guys are too. We're so appreciative that you joined us for today. We know you have a lot of choices out there, so it means a lot to us that you came to work out with us today. Yes, thank you for clicking on this video. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's switch legs in three, two, one, zero. Go ahead and sit on up. 
Kick that leg forward and switch it up here. Last one. Whew. I'm, I'm pretty excited for my shower today. I think it's <laughs> I think it's safe to say I earned it. You did. Maybe make sure you guys rehydrate after this workout. Or during, whatever. Or, or during, yeah, you can do that as well. Again, just a static hold here. Nice, big, deep breaths. Focusing on bringing that heart rate back down. Not much left on this one. We're just gonna hold this position for 10 more seconds. That's it. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come on up nice and slow. Ooh. Excellent work, everyone. Oh, shake those legs loose. You made it out there, Claudia. You made it. High fives. Oh, she virtual high five. She she doesn't want any of this we'll sweatiness. Pretend. Thank you so much for working out with us today and giving us the privilege of serving you. If you enjoyed this workout, you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you, please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout routine with us today, we ask that you give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out hasfit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one, as well as our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, come find HasFit and connect with us because we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for coming and working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.